Ah, hide behind the corner there, you little boy. Yo, what happened, Hajime? Don't waste your energy blundering around. What should I do? Should I hang out with Fujiko? Of course Damn I right. should. Damn right. You know what? Exactly. It's not so bad talking to you once in a while. We're gonna be best friends. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take his underwear. I spent time ta -da -da talking to Fuyuhiko about various things. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Give him a present. Yep, definitely. So he likes water? I don't have any mineral water, anyway. Uh, let's give him, um, 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 Mr. Stapler. Mr. Stapler. Small degenerated reactor. Let's give him dice. He, he totally plays D&D, right? Uh, who, do you think that Chiaki would like the thing? Uh, second button? What? Okay. Uh, floral arrangements? No. Desperation? No. I don't... Stardust. So, Sada Ishi Stardust. Jojo reference. Haha. -ha. Fishing rod? No. Sand God Stormhorn? No. Jabba the frog. Man, we got a frog. We just carry around a frog with us. Would you like this? No, I think Pekka would like that. But Costume. Okay, so that's a One Piece reference. Will be possessed by evil and fall to the dark. That's a, that's a, that's a devil fruit from One Piece. No, 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 no. Nagito's under. Yeah, what if I give him Nagito's underwear? How would you respond to that? What if I gave him Pekko's thing? How would he feel about that? I'll just give him the muzzler again for now. Damn right, damn. Damn right, damn right. Never mind, it's nothing. Huh? N now I want to know. You said something. Now I, now I'm interested. If you hadn't said anything, it would have been fine. Shut up. What? Mind your own business. I'm just, you know, looking for something. Huh? I mean, shut the fuck up. It's not like I'm looking for anything. He seems strangely on edge. Jeez. Damn it, if I just had that, I'm gonna feel so pissed off. Someone's always at the supermarket, so I just can't calm down and go look for it. Damn it. Shit, I feel like I'm going through withdrawal or something. It's starting to sound a little dangerous, but this means there's something he wants, right? What does he want? Is it love? Is it drugs? Is it soda? What in the world is for you? He go looking for. I don't know. Something sweet? He's like a, a baby. Pretty sure this is wrong, but. Do you want to eat something sweet? What? How do you know that? I seriously got that right? Bastard. If you tell anyone about that, I'm going to bury you next to that mountain over there. Where? We're in a building, you silly dingo. You don't have to be so angry. I like sweet things, too. It's so cute. Uh, sweet things actually calm your nerves. They also nourish your brain. Is that true? I don't think that's very true. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Still. It'd be embarrassing if anyone knew that the heir of the Kuzuryu clan was eating fried dough cookies. I like fried dough cookies too. Those pro those sound really good. It's like fried Oreos, I think. They taste best when you eat them with milk. Bastard! Hey, bastard! Never ever say that again. Fried dough cookies? Don't fuck with no, the me. other one. <laughs> he doesn't like milk. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I just said? I'll seriously fucking bury you. This is bad. His eyes look real intense. I've never seen anyone get so mad over milk. Man. He got mad. He got. Uh, he cried over spilt milk. Damn it! If only my guts were stronger, even I could have. Shit! I want to swallow it all in one gulp, you know. But with my height, he really doesn't have to be so hostile towards milk. There are other ways to get calcium. I don't know if it's a good time to say something like that, though. <sighs> you laughed, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry, I did. No, I didn't. You're definitely laughing. It doesn't show on your face, but I can tell you're laughing on the inside. You hate you... milk. See, I I get times where like. You were also hostile towards milk. I get, like, periods where, like, I will just really like milk. And then I will have a lot of it. But then I'll have periods where I just, like, don't drink it for, like, months. Why you forget this? Fuyuhiko mumbled under his breath as he walked away in a hurry. Well, that was an unexpected sight of Fuyuhiko. When he talks like that, it's almost like he's a completely normal guy for his age. In fact, I might be dangerous to think about completing that thought. F upgrade, update, F Fuyuhiko, F Fuko. After watching Fuyuhiko leave, I return to my room. There should be time for me to move around. Oh, God. Well, let's go hang up. 
uh, if I drink coffee, uh, I sometimes will. I like, like, Starbucks coffee and, like, stuff from, like, a Keurig, but, uh, I don't... What? What's over here? Wait a second. Um... But yeah, so, I mean, I'll have some coffee stuff. I don't like, like, just straight coffee. Like, I like my coffee very sweet. Um... Chalky's a thousand autumns. I think this is a Japanese sounding name. <laughs> like, they just threw together random Japanese syllables. Um, but yeah, so... There's also, there's actually a Starbucks on campus, but I haven't gone to it in so long, just because I don't walk around on campus. I just hide in my little, uh, in the lounge that I go to. I just, like, go from class to class. I don't walk around. Damn it. Can't tell time it is. There's no fucking windows. Damn it, this sucks. Should I invite him? Yeah! Huh. You wanna hang out with me? Man, you're pretty weird. Oh, okay. Spend time talking about various things. What, what should I give him? Man, I don't, I don't know. What do I got? There are actual people named Chiaki? I guess. I don't know. It's just, it just it didn't really fit the character. Fit the characters. They just picked like a Japanese name. What is this? And that seems like that's something. I don't. What is this? These are hella psycho pop. Ah, of course. What is this? Oh, of course. What? You can make a baby. Uh. I never read that before, actually. Uh, okay. I don't know what to give to him. The fun box. Do I have any candy? If I had candy, I'd give it to him. Oh. Uh, what do I give to him? <laughs> Nanami means seven C's. I don't, who's named Nanami? I don't remember last names very well. I, 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 what, do I give him a tissue? And ra wrapping with kindness. Ah, of course. I don't, what, what is what he like? Would he like this? Wait a second, this is the sword from the first game. Ch oh, Shaki, that's her last name, okay. Yeah, wait, this is the same sword from the first game. That's weird. And wait, that has Junko on the front. Doesn't it? Huh. Alex, I bet you would like this. It makes you into transform your clothes into whatever you want. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to give him. What do I do? Give someone the sword. I'll, I mean, I'll give him the sword, I guess. Oh! Oh! Why is the sword a key item? I'll give him this, I guess. Huh? Well, if you're gonna give that to me, I'll take it. Oh, this thing doesn't look that useful. Hey. Yeah, well, I don't get why it's a key item. Hey, Hajime, is there any woman who's important to you? What kind of question is that? Fine, do you have one or not? Uh, honestly, I'd never thought about it. I do, but huh. I don't know about Hajime. <laughs> you're such a kid. If you did have one, I was gonna tell you to take care of her, but I guess it's a bit too soon for you. Jeez. When you do have one someday, make sure you take care of her. Don't be like me. I've lost two important women. Two, you say? Like a ticket for a fairy? Okay, so like... Tss. So is that like what triggers the side events? Oh yeah, Pecco's committed her crime because her little sister was good. Oh right, I forgot about her. Oh huh? there, don't feel sorry for me. It's not like I wanted to make this awkward. Hmm. But if my sister was still alive, I really want you guys to meet her. You'd probably be shocked. It'll be a mystery that it's always gonna be a mystery. If you put it like that, she must have been one hell of a sister. You. Do you know what my sis sister's ultimate talent was? She was the ultimate little sister. Isn't that funny? What does that mean? What does that mean? The ultimate little sister? How was she an awesome little sister? Hard to put into words exactly. Anyway, she was definitely an amazing sister. Who decides these? Man, where's the ultimate vacuum cleaner cleaner? I want to find this person. I, I, uh, she's always making a fool out of me, but it was always cute when she needed my help. Plus, she cooked fried noodles during the temple festival. A huge line would form outside the temple. 
<laughs> she got an insane number of contracts from hand talent companies, you know. She was self-centered, selfish, extremely arrogant. But even so, she had the subtle way of making people do what she wanted. So. She definitely deserved to be called the ultimate Yakuza. Within the clan, she was even called the reincarnation of my uncle. It was the most powerful the Kuzu were used. Ultimate is a localization? <laughs> I guess. The most powerful the Kuzu were used. I'd like to... Oh, what, what, wrong person. The most powerful the Kuzu were used. I'd like to know more about that, too. Well. Before my time, so I don't really know about the details, but apparently he was known as the Overlord of the South. So what what was it what is it in Japanese then? This the, the the good the best little sister. Or would it be like a manipulator m m a person? See his foul confrontation when the detective who was pursuing him nearly destroyed the world. Hmm. Well, that's obviously just a rumor. Of course it's just a rumor. That'd be outrageous if it wasn't. I... Well anyway, she was a really annoying little sister who pissed me off. But even so, she was the only little sister I ever had. They thought Super High School Level X was too cheesy. Yeah, I mean, a little, a little cheesy. Even when a faction within the Kuzuryu clan wanted to make her our next leader, she said this, I don't want to lead the clan. There's a reason I'm so amazing is because I'm your sister. <laughs> she said that even though she was better than me at everything. To you, your sister must have been truly the ultimate little sister. <laughs> Maybe. But still, when she said that to me, I couldn't accept it. All I could do is yell at her and say, You lead! I can live by myself! I... Just... How small was I? Fuyuhiko. Why am I even talking to you about this? Huh? It's probably, you know, the harmless looking face of yours. You fucking... Soft boy. Is that a compliment or an insult? Huh. Who knows? Anyway... Sorry about that. I guess I got all sentimental and shit after that. I don't really mind. If you think I look like someone who's easy to talk to, then I'll listen as much as you want. Don't act like hot shit, you virgin. Whoa, whoa, that's an insult. Whoa, whoa. I see, so you're not. Shut up, don't talk back to me so calmly. Even though it's happening gradually, I know Fuyuhiko is slowly opening up to me. Man, Pekko did more than just kill people for him, I guess. Once again, I feel like I was able to understand Fuyuhiko a bit better. Updated. I have a Kit Kat sitting next to me, and I want to eat it. But I don't want the noise to come through. This Kit Kat has been taunting me for like two hours. After changing the subject and talking about our other things for a while, I return to my room. Is it nighttime now? Who the fuck knows? What time is it right now? Right, it's already 10 p.m. Just I thought I can't get a sense of what time it is. Okay, man. 10 p.m., just like I thought, but I can't get a sense of the time. Silly, Hajime. I almost called you Nagito. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room and not die. Oh, I forgot that you can't turn around in this one. Oh, hello. Over here. There I go. Woo! There I go again. There I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. See, Kit Kats are better than nougat. Because Kit Kats are delicious. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. I heard that. What are you gonna do? Geez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so geez of you to do all that. All I can say is geez. killing! You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My my. You don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Android joke? Oh, right. Right. I forgot that, uh, Android names all their things after candy for some reason, which is a very odd decision. My, my, you don't know, I already said news. that. Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You won't have to drive an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get energy back, I'm providing a special service with all Heart. So everyone please gather at the Great Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning. There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye. Okay, then goodbye. G goodbye. There he goes. Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. 